You don't need to be a pro Revit user or to use some advanced Revit tools or techniques to be able to create this modular interior panel in Revit. Actually, it's quite opposite. And if you're a total beginner, and if you just follow this tutorial step by step, you will learn the quickest and the simplest possible way to model this in Revit. And first of all, just keep in mind that it's always about understanding geometry and then baking it down to its simple part and how you can actually which Revit tool then you will need to apply. So let me just zoom in this one. And first of all, as you can see that we have the shape which starts from here, uh, which is, let's say, the half of the circle. And then we have the part which is, let's say, the quarter of the circle cut it out from that shape on those two sides. And at this point, we have the highest part. So we have some kind of extrusion. And just keep in mind, it's a very important thing in this case that this thickness here is not on zero. So we have something here, some kind of thickness. So let me create this in Revit. So first of all, you will see that I made this as a family and I'm going to show you now which family you're going to use and to create. And in front of me is the empty project open. I just have one wall created, then plan view as well as the south elevation. And as I said, what's very important, we are going to make this as a Revit family and you will need to pick a proper family template. So let's go to file, new family. And for this case, I'm going to use this metric generic model phase based. So I just opened this one and just I proceed with Revit. If you're serious about learning Revit and leveling up your Revit skills, the best and the cheapest way to do that is to join ArchiTZ Plus group. You can find the link in a video description. And here I will first of all take extrusion tool. So you saw that we have circle with two cut parts and that's extruded. Let's go and create circle and let's make that circle to have radius of 350 millimeters, for example. I will be using this intersection, so I am going to move this one, so it's tangent it here. Let's copy this circle, and I'm gonna copy it here. Then I'm going to take split tool, so I'm gonna split it like this, trim to corner, and I'm going to trim our circles. Select this one, mirror it by picking axis, trim one more time, and we got this shape, so I can just extrude it. Let's create 3D view for a family. So you see how it looks like it's extruded for 250 millimeters. I can just extrude it, for example, for 150. And before I load it into the project, I'm going to save the family. You see its name. And let's load this one. So let's go to South Elevation and I can just place it here, for example. But as you can see, we have this absolute zero, this very sharp part. And in real life, it's very hard to make it because it's often going to crash. And if you take a look at our picture, I, I highlighted that part before. We have some kind of thickness here. So what we need to do is we need to adjust our extrusion a little bit and what I'm going to do now. So first, select our extrusion, go to edit extrusion. Let's delete this part, this one as well. So I will move this for five millimeters. Then I'm going to create a straight line of 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters here, 10 like this. Let's select our, our arc and I have this flat part, but because I added 10 millimeters here, this means that let me create a sketch. This means that once I create our, our arc there, that arc will need to have at this part some straight line of 10 millimeters. I'm going to preserve this radius, but we also need to edit half of those parts here. So I need to make five millimeters like this straight and then up and then to mirror this part to be able to get it. So you will see why. Let's see. Let's create this one of five, for example, five like this. And I'm going to copy our arc from here. 
to this end. Let's select it and mirror it. And then, as I said, we are missing 10 millimeters, so it's very hard to see. So in this case, we are missing 20. So probably because I made something wrong in this case. Or maybe everything is fine. So let's take a look. No, my apologies. Everything is fine because I have 10 millimeters here. So once I mirror it, it's going to be 20. And then this is going to take that part of the mirror part. So let's let's finish this one. Let's load this one into the project. Override existing one. I will just have our south elevation view here. And I will mirror this part like this. And then I'm going to copy one more. Let's say this way. So let's move this one. So this is the check. Okay, so not nothing, something is not okay here. So or let's see. Okay, no, everything is perfect. I didn't I didn't place it well. So now if I mirror it and let's go to 3D. So you see how it looked like that everything seems well. And now we can go and do the next thing. And that next thing is to create this this empty part actually to create this radial part inside so what we need to do is to make uh, to make uh, this so if you take a look and if you take an uh, we have some radius here and then we have that radius spins around uh, around this axis so how we can make it in Revit so first of all in in family view I will open our let's say left view and then from here, I'm going to go to create void forms and I'm going to take void revolve. And I will, I will make it like this. Let's make it maybe 10 millimeters. I will make this straight line. Let's take, let's take arc tool and let's make arc to tangent this straight line. And then I'm going to make it like this. So this is how the profile is going to look like. Of course, we need to close our profile and then we need to draw the axis. So let's make it. And there is a problem. And that problem says that we cannot have this profile joined. So let's try just a very quick fix, very simple. Let's see if we can make this one to be maybe like this. Let's try now. Okay, nothing still. So let's see what will happen if I just delete this part. Let's make maybe 10 millimeters like this. And then let's take arc tool. So let's make it. Take trim to trim it to here and delete this small part. So let's see. So now it works and sometimes you see the problem was because we were tangenting this part here, the edge. So in this case we have the height, sorry, of 140 millimeters. Let's go to left view. So here should be the highest part, 140 as I said. And of course if you would like to make it 150, maybe we can fix it with let's say making this extrusion a bit bigger. So I can select our extrusion, make it. 200 and then let's go to our revolve tool let's delete this one and let's make for example 150 so now i will try to make it like this let's trim it and then you see so that's the problem and just don't be afraid if that happens to you uh, that's possible uh, what i would like to do next is to select our extrusion and to assign material to extrusion so go here and I'm, I'm not gonna add material inside a family I will just create material parameter I'm gonna make it as instance let's hit OK load this back into the project override it and now as you can see you can just continue adding them so for example I can just copy this one take it here from the middle to the end point here and of course, like I can take this one and mi not mirror it here. Sorry, you can just you just need, need to mirror it this way, then take it and mirror it like this and so on. So it's quite easy. And then you will be really able to 
to create and uh, to place as many as you want. And what's very important as well is that you can click on any of them because we created material as instance parameter. You will be able to, for each of them, separately assign different material. So as I promised, this was quite simple and I will be happy if you share your results with us. And just keep in mind that we also have a free Revit community and free Revit training. It's free to join and you can find the link for it in a video description as well. And of course, if you are willing to level up your modeling skills and to learn more about the panels in Revit, just watch this tutorial.